welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're opening a box of repacked wax. These are vintage cards that have been put together, collated, and put into wax wrappers. So it should be some pretty cool old time cards today. For those of you expecting 1972 baseball card exchange, that's been postponed one week. So we still have about five spots left we have to sell before we can do that. So that will be next thursday once those last five spots get taken off the board so let's check this box out and see what we can find chris thank you so much for letting us open your box on camera if you'd like to sponsor a video like chris is sponsoring this one or participate in any of our case breaks you can check us out on patreon it's three dollars per month if you'd like to participate and um the link is in the description so let's check this out i picked up this box out at a card store in ohio called triple play vintage they were selling these packs for i think it was either three or four dollars a piece and i just picked up an entire box of them so 1950s through today in wax wrappers pretty cool idea and i'm uh, looking forward to seeing what we can find with this repack product so there's the front of the pack Here's the back. Experience the unbeatable thrill, smell, and feel of opening wax packaged vintage sports cards from bygone eras with repacked wax. Always high quality packs may include stars, rookies, commons, and more surprises. And there's the website right there um, from repacked wax. Um, again, we are not sponsored by repacked wax. I picked this up um, myself at a. Um, at a card store, which you guys all saw. Now you can see, it looks like one good thing is you're not gonna have um, the gum stains on the card. So we've got a 90 score, Alejandro Pena. Tom Cole, I guess we'll just look at, I'm mostly looking for Hall of Famers and big hits right there. There's a nice Steve Sachs, 1983, and a Ken Griffey Jr. Nice one right there. That's the kid, 1992 Bowman. Very nice card, Ken Boswell. 1973 tops is a good one. Steve Carlton's a Hall of Famer. We've got a checklist card. And let's see if there's anything else. Daryl Strawberry, 1989 upper deck is a nice one. Dave Rigetti and Bob Tewksbury. So I really like the Griffey Jr. I'm going to put that in the sleeve pile for you, Chris. I don't know if I should keep that sleeve pile on camera or off camera. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go to the next pack and see what we can find. All right. There's a John Franco 92 Ultra in there. Looks like I'm getting lots of spacers at least. Oh, looks like they're actually... Uh, repacked wax promotional um, little flyers there. Charlie Lee Brandt leads it off in this one. Todd Benzinger. It looks like it's kind of like the same collation there as the last one. You get a nice John Bateman there from 1966 tops and a nice 74 Rudy May. So nice vintage cards. What else we got? Jerry Kuzman, 86 tops. Randy Milligan. Steve Rogers, 84. There's Barry Bonds, the home run king with his 762 career home runs. A lot of people still don't consider him the true home run king, but that's okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I grew up a Barry Bonds fan because I, of course, grew up a big Pittsburgh Pirates fan. See, Mark McGuire is going to be in this one. Big Mac. Looks like the first few um, cards are always going to be about the same. There's Hall of Famer Yvonne Rodriguez. Bobby Gritch, nice one right there. There's a Pedro Guerrero, Roberto Kelly. And this pack doesn't really have too much of value. I mean, there's a Mark McGuire in there, which is pretty cool. 89 upper deck. That's a great set. I need to open one of those boxes again. I feel like every year I need to open a box of 89 upper deck just because that's kind of like uh, one of the iconic sets of all time. Robert Gesellman, rookie card. Barry Larkin's a Hall of Famer, 91. Another Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter. That's an old 1982 Fleer card. We've got Jim Holt. We'll get that Suter sleeved up. Frank Viola, Chris Donalds, and Jerry Don Gleaton is the last one. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to get a little idea here from Repacked Wax. It'd be easy to get rid of a lot of the, a lot of the commons in my garage doing something similar to this, although... Um, I'm sure it took whoever put this together a very, very long time. There's a LaRon Lee. I'm hoping that there's like one big hit in each box. I don't know if that's the case or not. Roberto Alomar is in there as well. Jay Buehner, 89 upper deck. Dale Murphy, 86 tops is a nice one. Tom Glavin, Team Heroes from 2004. Another Hall of Famer right there. And there's their little pamphlet. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find. 
This probably is a good representation of a lot of your baseball card collections if you're watching this and you collected cards in the 80s and 90s. You're seeing a lot of cards from back in the day. There's a Jim Gott, former closer for the Buckos. Ricky Henderson, I think that was a 90, 92 upper deck card. Rogelio Moray, nice one right there, 1973 tops. Like getting the 70s cards in these packs. Storm Davis, Rick Rushell, and Jack Clark. And there's the repacked wax little insert. I guess the, the main reason they do that, if you're wondering why is there two of those in every pack, well, definitely on the back, that's there to prevent the cards from picking up any wax. You can see that literally these cards are sealed with wax. Not really sure why the other one's there, unless maybe you can kind of see through the wrapper, and that's kind of why there's Mike LeVire. And we have Reggie Jackson, 1983 tops. That's a nice one right there. Reggie, get that one sleeved up. A rookie card from 71 of Tim Foley and Randy Daub. We'll take that one. Devon White, Clay Parker, Cliff Johnson, and Joe Hesketh is the last one in that pack. All right, here we go. Next pack. Let's see what we can find for Chris. Probably just getting all the spacers out of the way. It's starting to look a little sloppy by just having them hanging on camera. There's a Fred McGriff, 88 Don Russ. Um, I think this was like a... a I forget what set this was best, Don Russ best or something like that. Mike Sosha, wow, that is a nice hit right there. Check this one out. Warren Spawn. All right, we'll take that one. A nice 1959 tops. Look at the back of the card. Nice clean card right there. That's the best one so far. A 59 tops Warren Spawn. Chris, congratulations on that one. Very, very nice indeed. I think that... I don't know if there's any guarantees in these boxes in terms of like a big hit, but I feel like a cool idea would be to include one Hall of Famer or something like that per box. So we might have just had the box hit right there, Warren Spawn. Now, when I did buy this box, just full disclosure, the box was kind of like half empty. So I was like, um, I'd like to get a full box. So um, the worker there actually grabbed a, a, some extra packs from um, like a source box that they use and put some more in there. So I don't know if you get one Hall of Famer per box or not, but look at this. We have another one right now, a 1962 Eddie Matthews. So doing some pretty good work here for you, Chris. Two Hall of Famers. There's the back of the card. You can see it looks like it might have a little bit of wax or something on there. Maybe, I don't know if that's glue or not. It doesn't feel like glue, but a nice Eddie Matthews 62 tops card as well. And a Wade Boggs, 73 Jim Wynn. Jim Stoddard, terrible picture of that guy. Just, I don't know, not a very good picture. A couple old 81 Donruss cards. Aki Iwamura's rookie card. That's a nice pack. We'll take that one. So two Hall of Famers so far from our repacked wax box. Let's see what else we can find. It would be pretty nice to find a huge hit in here, like a Mickey Mantle, but don't know if that's going to happen or not. Stephen Moyer, rookie card. I used to be a huge fan of him after seeing him in batting practice. There's another kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Roger Clemens, second-year card, 86. Don Ross, that's a nice hit. We'll take that one. Roger Clemens. I actually got to put that aside to get that sleeved up. Where did that one go? we got to sleeve up the Clemens. Paul Mulder's a Hall of Famer. Curry Puckett's a Hall of Famer as well. And Dennis Eckersley. So a pretty good pack right there in terms of Hall of Famers. Lots and lots of them left and right. Let's see what we can find in our next pack. We've got a Kim Batiste. That is a 94 gold card. Michael Lorenzen's expecting to pitch out of the rotation next year. We've got a double Hall of Fame card. Rod Carew along with Reggie Jackson. We'll take that one. Dave Tomlin. And nothing else in that pack. Next pack up. So we're only about not even quite halfway through. We already got two original Hall of Fame cards. Hoping for some more. Got Tom Hankey in here. Sammy Sosa rookie card. That's a nice surprise. Sammy Sosa's rookie card from 1990 Upper Deck. Nice hit right there. We've got an 88 traded card. Wilton Guerrero, Don Russ preferred. Cool looking card right there. Let's see what else we can find. Gorman Thomas, 1974. I feel like I'll put that in the sleeve. Steve Trout, another Don Russ preferred. Moises Alou, Mookie Wilson, and Joe Orsalak. So next pack up. Let's see what we can find. I think I saw in the box from somewhere. This is Series 1 of Repack Wax. I don't know if they're planning a Series 2 or not. I feel like um, <laughs> the whole process of doing it the way they did it 
would take a long time to fold up each and every pack and to seal it. There's a nice Reggie Jackson Super Veteran card from 1983 tops. Get that one in the sleeve. Nice one right there. Um, what else can we find? There is a Billy Hatcher when he played for the Red Sox. Mostly remember him for his days with the Buccos and the Reds. All right, here we go. Our next pack. I always flip them over on the wrong side. We've got a Kevin Gross, Dylan Batances, and a 68 Dick Hauser. Nice one right there in pretty good shape. Check out the back of it. Dick Hauser, 68 tops. Jack McKeon, back when he was much younger. I believe Jack McKeon was the oldest ever manager in the majors. When he was hired by the Marlins at age like 80 um, a few years ago. Nice card right there. 1974 Jack McKeon. We've got a Carlton Fisk. He's a Hall of Famer. Don Baylor. And Rick Rona is the last card in that one. Hope I don't get demonetized for saying his last name. That's <laughs> the way it used to be with YouTube. If you said anything that sounded like the virus, you would automatically have uh, like a little um, message on your video and not be able to be monetized. But good old Rick W-R-O-N-A forgot that it sounds like that terrible virus going around. There's Jason Giambi. Uh, Don Buford, nice 73 tops. It's Tom Lawless, who likes to bat flip. Look at those career home runs. One career home run, and I'll tell you what, he had a home run in the playoffs. I think it was in 87. He bat flipped the living heck out of that bat. Edgar Martinez, nice card right there. He's a Hall of Famer, considered one of the best DHs of all time. Might eventually be joined by David Ortiz in the Hall of Fame. Not too many designated hitters in the Hall. You got Edgar in there. You got Harold Baines in there as well. There's Stan Musial. I always consider that not like a real card, personally. I mean, yeah, it's a, what is that, an 88, 88 tops card. Never really considered it to be like a true musical card. Ozzie Smith is a Hall of Famer. Nice George Foster, 1980 tops. We'll get that one put aside for a sleeve. And we have Tommy Helms, Jesse Orozco, with an extreme close-up, glaring at the camera there, Dan Pasqua. Next pack up, let's see what we can find. They did do a nice job on these wax packs, that's for sure. I feel like if I did a product like this, personally, um, I probably would put them in team bags just because it's. I feel like it would take too long to, to kind of process everything. There's a Phil Negro, 81 tops. He's a Hall of Famer. Vita Blue Willie Wilson. We got a Mickey Stanley, 72 tops. Looks like it's a miscut. Um, what else do we have in here? Lance McCullers Sr. and a Todd Stottlemyre, 93 tops gold. All right, continuing on. It's been a little while since our last Hall of Fame hit. Let's see if we can find another one. Had him, what, almost back-to-back, -back, maybe even back-to-back. -back. Kyle Ripken Jr., nice card right there. There's Pat Kelly. Alan Trammell's a Hall of Famer. The Carl Yastrzemski puzzle piece was pretty cool. And a double Kyle Ripken pack. Nice card right there, 89 upper deck. That's a nice Ripken. That used to be one of my top cards in my Ripken binder. Growing up, I had a Cal Ripken Jr. binder. He was one of my PC guys. And uh, that card had a prominent place in that binder for sure. Wasn't my best Ripken card, but I definitely liked it a lot. There's Joe Necro showing off how to throw a knuckleball. Remember, I learned how to throw a knuckleball from Tim Wakefield. Not personally, but I there was a whole article in like the Hartford Current when I was visiting my grandma about how he throws his knuckleball. And I read it all and... Um, now I throw a pretty decent knuckleball because of that article that I read when I was like 13 or 14, whatever. There is a Ken Griffey Jr. Nice card right there. I don't know what that is. Uh, double header? What's, I can't even read what that says. I have no idea. Craig Biggio rookie card. Very nice. That is a nice hit right there. That's an 88 Fleer update. Check that one out. That's a very desirable Craig Biggio rookie. If you're going after a Biggio rookie, this is probably the one you want to get. So another nice hit, Levon Hernandez, rookie as well. So some people might just pass that Biggio by not realizing. That's a pretty darn good card right there, Hall of Famer Biggio. We've got another Hall of Famer, Gary Carter, leading things off in this next pack. Manny Ramirez, 92 score. Nice one right there. We'll get that one sleeved up as well. Bob Sykes. Charlie Fox, Don Slott, and Burt Blylevin's a Hall of Famer. Not a lot of value to that card, though, unfortunately. There are some guys that made the Hall of Fame, guys like, you know, Alan Trammell and Lee Smith and Gary Carter, Jack Morris, Tim Raines, all those guys growing up. 
they were mostly commons and, and semi stars. Not a whole lot of value to the cards. We would always probably sell them for like five to ten cents a piece when we were kids. There's Charlie Huff. Is he unleashing a knuckleball there? There's Pedro Martinez, 1993 Don Ross. That's a nice card. Ken Griffey Sr., 84. Looks like we may have two cards sticking together here, and that is the case. Kirk McCaskill. And we have a rookie card of Grant Jackson, Phillies, 1967 rookie stars. Tony Armas, 88 tops. Who's on this one? It's got to double check. There's no big names. There's the Spaceman, Bill Lee, 1974. He was pretty much out there. Interesting character in the game's past. All right, so we still have oh, maybe about a dozen packs left or so. I'm just going to move them all to one side of the box and make them a little easier to grab. Thank you very much for watching tonight, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you are. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you along for videos. We do videos every single day. There's Scott Bradley, Ron Gant, Jackie Moore. We've got a Mel Queen. Mel Queen from the Cincinnati, from the Queen City. 1967 tops. Kind of a cool one right there. And the last one, Mike Jeffcoat, Reggie Sanders. All right, let's see what we can find from our next pack. I've been looking forward to doing this box for a while. I feel like I've had this box for like two weeks now at least. Paul Blair. 73. Keep looking at it like, when can I possibly get this done? There's a Wade Boggs 86. He's a Hall of Famer, of course. You all know that. And there is a Tony Perez, another Hall of Famer, 1983 tops. And Tony Gwynn, also a Hall of Famer. Let's see if we can find in the next pack 15 vintage cards from various years. I don't know if I consider the 2015 tops cards vintage, but still... Um, pretty cool. There seems to be like one of those in every pack. Maybe they just want to, you know, give you a newer card. There's a Mike Schmidt, 1981 tops. Go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. Let's see what else we can find. And Don Mattingly, 89 is a nice one. Tino Martinez. Don Mattingly, of course, just named this week the National League Manager of the Year. Pretty nice honor. A lot of people wouldn't have seen that at the beginning of the season. The Marlins making the playoffs. A lot of people were projecting them to finish last place. Joe Torrey, nice 74 tops of Joe Torrey. Check the back out on that one. He's a Hall of Famer. Was well, a very good player, too, in his career. There's Rick Monday, American hero. And let's see what else we can find. We've got a first of Tukey Toussaint. So that sneaks its way in there. I guess that might be one of the surprises. You don't always get the uh, vintage card. Sometimes they'll sneak a rookie in there here and there. Here's our next pack. We've got a Chris Spire in action from 72 tops. Pretty nice one right there. Joe Torrey, 83. Second Joe Torrey of the video. And from the 1975 top set, we have a Nolan Ryan, 74 highlights. Nolan Ryan on there with Dick Bosman and Steve Busby. No hitters hurled by these three. Of course, Nolan Ryan would have seven career no hitters. Mike Rossiter with his 90 shirt. It's almost like they gave all these draft picks in the 92 draft set and 92 Bowman these terrible shirts to wear because a lot of them have those awful, awful outfits on. All right, here we go. Here's our next pack. We've got Tom Browning in here. Vinny Rotino rookie card. There's a Walt Droppo 59. Like the cards from the 50s. So far, 59 has been our oldest card. We've pulled it twice, I do believe. Tony Gwynn, 89 upper deck is a nice one. There's our buddy Frank DePino, 1990 tops, and Jeff Branson. The best card of the video, I'm, I'm going to say... The uh, Warren Spawn, probably the best card. The back of the card is beautiful. The Eddie Matthews is a nice card as well, although the back does have the blemish on it. But I'm hoping we can find at least one more big-time vintage Hall of Famer. That's a Hall of Famer, of course, but it's a uh, newer Alan Ginter from 2020, actually. Don't know how that found its way in here. I guess that's a surprise card. Andre Dawson. We've got our buddy Chris Sable. There's Wade Boggs. Phil Necro. He's a Hall of Famer, of course. Rick Monday once more. And last one is Ron Darling. So let's go ahead and take the last couple packs out of here. We've got a grand total of seven packs left in this vintage repacked wax video. And thank you very much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate you guys checking us out tonight. Uh, Mark McGuire, nice one right there. Yon Moncada. 
got the uh, face off Friday for you tomorrow with some mega boxes. And by the way, I absolutely hit a huge score at Walmart today. I don't know how or why, but there was just just so many baseball cards on the shelves, and it wasn't just like Tops Update or just Gallery. It was multiple different releases. Some releases we haven't seen in months that were on the shelves. So I'll be bringing you a Walmart budget video. And I kind of blew past the budget a little bit. I spent over $100. So I think we might have to call it the Walmart $150 budget. I just couldn't help myself. So that'll be coming at some point this weekend. Look for that one. Saturday Showdown is going to be Topps Dynasty. It's going to be pretty fun. That's a nice one right there. A first Bowman of Teoscar Hernandez. We'll put that one in a sleeve for you. Chris, we've got a Will Cordero, Tops Gold, Brent Gates, and Paul Kilgis. Five packs left in the repacked wax video. Let's see if we can hit one more big time Hall of Famer. When I say big time Hall of Famer, that's a guy that would come to mind. A nice George Brett, 78 Tops. Check the back of this one. Card number 100 of the set. It's probably worth a few dollars at least. It, I would rank that as maybe, what, third best card so far? I mean, the Nolan Ryan 75 was a nice one as well. But I don't know. He was on there with a couple different guys. I like that George Brett a lot. You can see AL All-Star on the card. So definitely some nice cards in this repacked wax box. Let's see what else we've got in here. We have a, for Chris, we have... James Austin as our first card. There's Bob Scanlon, good old David Justice. Nolan Ryan, 88 score. Of course, everyone knows that he's a Hall of Famer by now. A 72 Braves team card. Good old Tony Phillips. And Daryl Boston is the last one. Down to three packs left to go for Chris. Best of luck to you, Chris. I feel like every single pack I've opened, I've always flipped it over the wrong way to start off the video. Let's see if I can avoid that in the last three. There's a Johnny My Sweet Spot Classic card. Trevor Bauer, your Cy Young Award winner for the National League this year. Tom McGraw, 73. Teddy Higuera and Devon White. So two packs left. There we go. Got the right side. All right, so Chris Gomez, 2007 top. Steve Garvey, 85. Burt Blylevin, 75 tops. He's a Hall of Famer. Nice early Blylevin card. His rookie card is 71 tops. Ron Gardenhire, that Joe Necro, 72 tops is a nice one. Steve Bedrosian. And now that's going to take us into our last pack. So once again, thank you for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button. and hope you check out all of our videos. And by the way, next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell that you can quote-unquote ring which will um, turn your notifications on for my channel and anytime I post a video or go live you'll get a little notification on your phone so you don't miss anything there's a Dennis Eckersley Hall of Famer in our last pack Milt May and we're going to go out with a nice Tom Seaver check that one out Tom Seaver Tom terrific the back of the card looks really nice no gum stain or anything on that one and 77 Tom Seaver to go with the 78 Brett so we've pulled some nice cards from this video. There's a Dean Chance. Kevin Mitchell is the last card. So, Chris, thank you very much for sponsoring the box. Hope you guys enjoyed this throwback Thursday. Kind of a walk down memory lane with um, the repacked wax. Lots of, uh, I feel like we probably saw a lot of cards represented from all years. Mostly from 72 on up. But there was some nice surprises in there. The Warren Spawn and Eddie Matthews were probably my favorites. Let me know what you thought of this box. Maybe you've opened some of this um, and had some good luck. If you did, let me know what major Hall of Fame hits you found in it. And I thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Face Off Friday. Good night, everybody.